The AI revolution will likely have a significant impact on our economy and capitalism as we know it. These changes will require that individuals, businesses, and governments need to adapt in order to function in an AI-first economy. First, we're seeing a shift in returns to capital versus returns to labor. Returns to capital are essentially how much money you can make by investing in capital assets. These include investing in machines, software, data, and more. Returns to labor are essentially how much money you can make by soliciting your labor for income. This includes physical labor, knowledge work, and highly specialized labor. Over the past few decades, we've seen a continuous upward trend in returns to capital. As a result, the value you receive from investing in capital assets continues to increase. On the other hand, we've seen a continuous decrease in returns to labor. As a result, the value that you receive from each hour of your labor continues to decrease. Essentially, labor is becoming cheap and automation is becoming highly profitable. This phenomenon is referred to as the Great Decoupling. Essentially, productivity in the USA continues to rise year after year. However, somewhere in the 1970s, labor compensation broke away from the productivity gain trend. This diverging trend will likely continue and become amplified with further AI automation. Second, data may likely become one of the most valuable resources in our information economy. Those that have the most data and the ability to enable AI with data will wield tremendous power in our information economy. In fact, there are data sets that exist today that are currently valued at over a billion dollars. Think about that. That's just a bunch of ones and zeros in a computer somewhere worth over a billion dollars. Third, the AI revolution will likely lead to a significantly more nonlinear economy. Those with smart machines will have even more power, and those without smart machines, unfortunately, will likely have even less power. It will become progressively harder for individuals, small businesses, and even some governments to compete with large, established tech companies. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.